kids, it's Karen from Our Fall Collects. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> this is take two. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Let me show you the results from the last couple uh, things I've done. And then uh, I'll talk as I uh, layer paint. So first up, um, from a couple videos ago, this special request for blue painting. Um, let me make sure I get it. How it goes, how does it go? Does it go like this? No, it goes like this, yes. So, one, two. This was a little diptych, is that right? Something like that. Um, they both dried beautifully. So, what, whatever made that other blue painting crack, I have no idea, because these were on the same table, and they turned out um, fantastic, so, um, I hope the gal really likes them and uh, we'll just let those hang out for another two weeks and give them a coat of varnish and send them on their way. So there's those. Um, as you probably guessed, the, um, the painting from the live pour video uh, didn't make it more than a couple hours before I redid it. And all I did was take all the leftover paint made a couple cups of white and sandwiched all the leftover paint um, in between white and did, a, did a, a pour. And this is the result of that. I, I, I like it. Um, I like the white. It's not exactly negative space, but it is light and airy. Um, I just don't think I'm used to it. Or I don't know. It's because I have another one and I'm so in love with the other one that Maybe that's why, but it's nice enough and um, I think it'll sell. It's pretty, um, really pretty color. So there's the bottom part too. So there's that guy um, from the live pour. And then I still had paint after that. So I made even more white and took, I only had a couple colors left and I did another pour. Um, wasn't thrilled with it but I kept parts of it and poured around it and the result was amazing. So let me grab that. Well, you might not think it's amazing. I did, I do, because I love this. I don't think, I posted a picture of it. I don't think it conveys very well. Um, it's super pretty. And my favorite thing about it, besides the, um, the movement and the composition, is that you can see bits of the previous pour because I went around it. So like, and just snippets, like I wanted to think like, if this was a magazine and I cut out random pictures and had a part of like a lady's nose or whatever in a in a um, collage, that's what I wanted this to, that was like what I was thinking and it worked and I was like, ah. So like parts here, that's from the previous painting. This here where it goes up, previous painting, previous painting. And then particularly here, like I have all this and it just, they just go together. Like it's really, I just, I was all proud of myself. That's all I'll say. Um, I don't know if I can sell it. I'm in love with it. Plus I love the colors a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so yeah, that's like orange Julius or something, but I'm really, really stoked about that guy. And then behind me up on the wall is the first neon pour. It's been varnished because um, I was going to get it ready for my um, hairdresser who changed her mind. So now it's going to be up on, the, uh, on my Etsy site um, for sale. And then the second one I did, I ruined it because, and I remember it. I remember it and then I forgot. When I went to put it on the drying table, my dog went out. So I set it down and it has the pegs and one of the pegs was off the table and I let the dog out and then the cat tried to get out and I got all like sidetracked and then I covered it up with my tarp and left it for two days with that one peg hanging off the uh, table. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't put it down and have it be unlevel because if you do, this will happen. Whoop, and kind of ruined my painting. I mean, it's okay. I'll sell it like half price or something because that, that would bother me, but maybe someone else thinks it's cool. Um, the colors are still fantastic. Um, it dried beautifully. That's a crying shame. So I might have to do a third on canvas. 
hint, hint. You'll see why that's a hint. Um, so those are the latest. I have the um, quite the stack to uh, start resining too. So let's move along. I'll tell you. Um, this is take two because this is um, a not a diptych but a um, a complementary pair um, on eight by twenty four. This is my two inch cradled pre gessoed ampersand um, cradled wood which I love and these cost a fortune. I wanna put both pair in a gallery. So this is archival, um, the wood and the, um, this gesso. Um, that's what ampersand says. So no craft paint, um, I'm sorry, no glue. Well, I don't have craft paint anyway. But tonight my pouring medium is nothing but gack. And I'm already, this is brand new yesterday and look I mean stuff it's so expensive and it's too hard to use or too expensive to use um, as a pouring medium by itself all the time because it's just you go through it like that anyway so I did one already and I filmed it for you guys and then um, I stopped filming and I'm like oh and I went to play it real quick and I don't know if you ever did um, slow-mo where it starts off normal. So it went like this. Hi everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. <laughs> so uh, needless to say, I will be posting that one, but you'll get one of the two. Um, and that one, because it was GAC, I, I I just, I didn't over torch, but I did my regular torching after I made my puddles and it just sewed up so much that it's a massive cells and I think it's too busy and I might scrape it anyway, which will hurt because that's a bunch of gap down the window or down the drain, so to speak. Um, so I don't know. It's sitting down on the drying table awaiting its fate. Um, gap and paint, half and half. I have a couple soft body paints, which, uh, ease the sting a little bit because you don't need a whole lot of it then but you could tell um, it doesn't really it leaves like a little tiny trace for half a second before it disappears but it feels runny like to me the velocity it has coming off the stick it's definitely not glue um, I have three drops of my spot on treadmill silicone in the color so let me have two in the blue and get going. Um, I have a lot of new material for the blooper reel, I gotta tell you. Between the slow-mo, um, the other canvas, I tried to do a pour, I didn't get very far. My very first cup, I, uh, I had all the cups lined up. And my very first cup, I went to, you know, do my flip and drag and I knocked over two other cups. And I swore a lot. The F bomb may, may have made an appearance. Um, so that happened. Not setting up my painting on the table correctly. And then the slow mo. And hopefully I'm not off my game. And note to self don't torch a lot. So. Let's see what happens. Last uh, painting I did blue, green, pink, yellow, black. This time I'm gonna do blue, green, black, pink, yellow. Just cause the black and the blue together. Um, oh, I forgot to talk about my colors. See, I told you I'm off my game. Colors tonight is uh, black. It's the Artist Flock Flow Acrylic, the usual, um, until I can get my gloss black from Blix back. Um, fluorescent pink, Liquitex, 
uh, Liquitex Academy in yellow uh, light hue. And then Artist Loft uh, Aqua Green, which by the way, the Artist Loft Aqua Green, since I use all the colors in the Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green are exactly the same color. So there's no difference there. And then finally, my blue is not Winsor Newton tonight. It is Liquitex Soft Body, the Ultramarine Blue, which is basically just a shade darker. And hold on one second. Husband and daughter carrying on. All right, black. Told you the colors. Let's go pink. And then this is why I like to paint when nobody's home. And let's see what happens. Nothing really new going on, other than maybe my usual klutzy self. And let's see, yellow, and then back to blue, which I didn't want to do because that's going to make green. Maybe I do green blue. Hmm, screw it. Let's just go blue. Oh, am I the blue already? I might have to whip up some more blue. Hmm. So I got totally grossed out the other day. We have some newish neighbors. We live on a um, a dead end cul-de-sac, which is awesome. Super quiet. And it's a very uh, kid-friendly, pet-friendly neighborhood. And what do I want next? Maybe I do the black now, yeah. Um, and our, these new neighbors, it was, it's bitterly, bitterly cold here now. But a few days ago, it was like in the 50s and quite balmy for winter time. And these neighbors got out, um, maybe they got it for Christmas, I don't know. A kid's like big plastic sandbox. And they put it out on the side of their house um, for their kids, their toddlers. Um, and it filled it up with sand and their kids were in it. And like, yeah, that's, you know, don't give it a second thought, right? But then they left it out there for like three days. And my cat isn't really an outdoor cat. She kind of hangs out on her deck and that's about it. But there are other cats that are outdoor cats. And they were like, woohoo, look, a free litter box. Everybody, party. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, gross. Cause I saw a couple cats in there and um, I went to tell them, like, hey, just a heads up. I think your cat was in your sandbox, your kids, you know, your child's sandbox. And the response I got was, our cat would never do that. And I was like, oh, all right, I'm done. I told you, you don't want to believe me. Whatever, your cat would never do that. Or like, your cat doesn't poop? Like... Just totally didn't understand that. So, uh, whatever. And then the next day, they had their toddlers back in it. And I was just like, ew. Totally grossed out. Totally. Totally. But my husband's attitude was like, meh. 
like, no big deal. I'm like, what? That's germs and disease and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh my gosh, so runny. Um, maybe it's a ditch of water. He, uh, he reminded me that when our kid was a toddler, um, she found the dog bowl and ate kibble, so she lived. So I said, that's not quite the same. Gross man. I guess I guess maybe the kids bugged them and they couldn't wait till springtime to put it out. Alright, got a little more blue made. Two drops silicone, light stir, back in business. Sorry for the delay. Maybe we'll go back to our name. Everybody in it wants it to snow. Like we're all like dying to have snow days. But I don't think it's gonna snow. And the reason why I know it won't snow is because I bought my daughter a snowsuit and snow boots. So, because I did that, nothing's gonna happen. So that's how it works. Yeah, my daughter started, uh, ooh, that was a lot of yellow in that one, holy moly. Um, my daughter had her first official horseback riding lesson tonight. So I got to live vicariously through her as she walked around the ring and learned how to steer. It was pretty cool. All right, what do I want next? Maybe some pink. I totally messed up the order now. I'm just going with like whatever I feel like. I think this is enough pain anyway. I'm gonna kill off the pink. Yeah, that's good enough. And just a touch of black. Not a lot. Just a little wiggle. And since I made up blue, I might as well start with blue and end with blue. It's so runny. It's so runny. All right, am I still recording? I'm like all paranoid now. I'm in slow mo or time lapse or whatever it was. That was pretty funny though when I played it back. All right, um, last one, because I'm so paranoid that I'm gonna knock over cups. I just did two at a time. So I'm gonna put one here. Let's move these out of the way. Whoa, that was a good flip. Do you see that? <clears throat> should have made. Is four going to be enough? How many did I make last time? I guess it was just four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Whew. Yeah, I'm recording. Some gloves. guy shot. <clears throat> I'm trying to catch some of it. Oh, pretty. Hold on. Save. 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 Save the pink. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's take the rest of it. Stick it on an end. All right, number two.
Job there, I scraped it. Me too. I am total butterfingers today. I don't know what my deal is. This is what it looked like last time, like all innocent, like, oh, look, new cells popped up or anything. And then I, I torched it just like normal and it exploded. So the other painting, it's pretty because it's balanced color wise and composition wise, but I don't think I like it because it's, there's just way too many cells. Let's try to ease up this time. Maybe tilt a little bit first. Save that little bit. Hmm. All right, little half cup. You got a lot of a lot of real estate to cover. So let me learn from my mistake and put it close to one, and just have real estate in one spot instead of on both ends. Right. Try to do this. Can a match? Where did my paint go? See, you could tell. Like I can just tell, there are a lot of um, caterpillars dying to come out. Just a lot of cells waiting, just just, just begging me, taunting me. Go ahead, torch me, torch me. I'm gonna go kind of high. I got a whole bunch of like actual bubbles there. Guess I need to get. See that? Look at that. Just barely did anything. Wow. Do you see that? There's like one little, one little touch, and boom! Look at that. little parts I can sew up. Look at that. All right, this too. Maybe one more right in there. All right. Let me, uh, wiggle it around first see if it torches up later I bet you it does let's have these guys go meet up somebody I want to keep the pink on that end so let's go this way
Yeah, you know, off you go. Yep, off you go at the other end too. I'm not looking at on one hand, there you go. Too many cells. Way too many. Let's see, let's go this way. back. Oh my god. Two little spots. some of that. This still could be stretched out or poured off or something. Let me go this way. That's all right, you can go. You can go too. Thank you. Come back, keep your shape. Oh. Oh, my daughter's getting into trouble, can you hear that? Let's see. I don't like this one little wonky corner. Now that's too plain, so let's hope I get lucky. Chicken torch on the corner. Oh yeah. I don't know how big they're gonna grow. Let's do that. That's amazing. It's amazing, it really is, wow. Let's do the corner I don't like. Let's leave it, I wanna leave a little bit of background. That's cool. Even that, just a little bit of torching, it's like too much, too many. At least I've got a nice variety of sizes. I'm just staring at the composition. I love the pink. This part up here. I think that part's fine. I can live with that. Uh, yeah, I think I stop. I'm going to put some little matching babies right over there, and then I stop. That part turned out cool too. I don't have to worry about my sides. They're taped. I'm just gonna do my little lips again. Which is easy peasy. See how your side looks. Just one little spot. Let's get some blue. 
put it right there. Let's add some what made purple. The pink and the black. I think I like it. I think I like this one way more than the other one. Maybe I redo the other one and film it again. Yeah. That's like life on Mars or something. That's uh that's a keeper. Yep. Ta-da! Yay! Oh, you know what's cool is um the baby guys, they're all the baby gag cells. You know, they're all the little kidney shape twinsy sets. I think they're adorable. I'm gonna zoom in on they are so cute. I love those, I really do. I think gag cells are the best. Personal preference and all. But they're adorable. Let me get you guys in um for a close up and uh and check it out. Just try not to touch any buttons. Yeah, so let's get on here for a second. Look at their little baby. The little baby ones there. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. And the, the purple with the yellow cells. Or the yellow, yeah, the purple cells with the yellow rings. They're cool. And then I do like all the babies mixed in with the big guys. I like this big fish too, whatever it is. He's pretty cool as far as caterpillars go. I'm a little worried that this part dries dark. We'll see how that turns out there. Um, and then up here, the, the deep blue is awesome. A little busy at the top, but I like the variety of colors. So look at me finding silver linings. And look, look at those cells with the blue and the pink ring. Mm. Ah, All right, where am I? Look at that, a half an hour. Not bad for me. Um, I'm going to go pick at the other one. If I do, I'll, I'll film it separate and just have to put, put up two instead of trying to splice them together. So if I don't see you, I'll see you in a couple days. And if I do see you, it'll be right after the next, after blah, blah, blah. There'll be one more video. Uh, yeah. Take care, guys. Bye.